there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swish and I'm reviewing the market. Uh, so August is over for the market. It did not have a good month. Um, overall, if we go back from the very first trading day of the month, which was here, um, we pretty much opened neutral and fell. And on that day, originally, we had rallied. So I, I know this, you can't really see this here, but this was green, this tail was the market opening neutral, rallying, attempting to get back on, make new highs, failing to do so, dropping, breaking the low and falling. And then we pretty much traded in this range for the rest of the entire month. Um, no rally had any follow through. I do think we saw more follow through to the downside than to the upside because of the size of the selling that we had on the selling bars. And, uh, and some of those days was here, power trend day down the market, which was the fifth, power trend day down the market here, the 23rd. Um, and then this was a pretty decent day here too. Another day where we had rallied, failed, and completely fell. So I would say this coming week, next week is a short week for the market and probably it's gonna be low volume. A lot of people take the whole week off for Labor Day. Markets close Monday. So it'll be interesting to see if the market moves out of this area in the next week to two weeks or if it continues to stay in this area uh, with the tariffs coming on tomorrow September 1st but then the market closing Monday pretty much anything could happen anything could happen in the next uh, three days until the market reopens on Tuesday morning so it'll be very very interesting to see if the market has a positive reaction in the upcoming week a negative reaction in the upcoming week or no reaction really uh, so I'll be watching it. Again, we'll be seeing what happens. Markets are closed on Monday for the U.S. Labor Day holiday. But overall, August was one of the first months in a long time where you can really see the, the struggle uh, that, that the, the buyers and sellers, uh, the bulls and the bears, was having in the market where the bulls really weren't taking control um, and the bears were attempting to take control. So we're really going to see here I'd say probably in the month of September, something's going to happen. Whether or not it happens this week or not, we're gonna to have to watch and wait and see. But it's better for the market. It's better for the market if we stay in this range for a while longer to move higher. Um, in other words, if we, if we end up falling and breaking and you know falling off a cliff, um, then I'm not sure where the market will go between now and the end of the calendar year, December, because it depends really if we sell off how big that saw off is and exactly what the time period happens because we we have four months left in the year but it's really not that long of a time if we decide to drop off pretty quickly let's just go back and look at last September and that was October well, last September was market was making new highs Actually, last September, it looks like the market was in the same range here of that it was, at least on the SPY here, I'm looking at the SPY today, than it, when it traded in, in August. That's interesting, I didn't notice that. Hmm. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Be careful, people. Take your profits when you're up and, and, and don't flip-flop around. Uh, you know, you have to do a strategy and a trade a strategy right now and I think it's important to do this all the time anyways, but you really, right now, it is necessary for you to follow a strategy, be strict about it, be strict about your money management, be strict about your sizing, and be strict with taking profits because you could be up money one day, down the next, and vice versa. You could be down in a trade, kill it, and then it could go the next day. You really, this is not a time for people to be trading that don't know what they're doing. So I do teach my class and a method and my system on gaps uh, once a month. The class for September is September 21st and 22nd, I think it is, Saturday and Sunday. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com and go to the website, www.thestockswoosh.com. Have a great holiday weekend, everyone, and stay safe.